Hello everyone. So today it's a beautiful day out so I decided to record outside and I decided that, alright so for a little bit of background, I have been considering starting a podcast. I love to talk and yeah I like, I, I thought it would be a good way to be able to just share my experiences and I don't know, everything just a way to talk honestly um, and I decided to test it out with a YouTube channel and I started my channel a couple months ago and some of the videos did pretty well and I decided that I'm not sure if I'm ready for a podcast because of I would have to stay committed and <laughs> post on a regular basis which I'm honestly not the greatest at but right now I wanted to share like okay it's probably not gonna be short but like a tester video as a little bit more of a podcast format except video and on YouTube and not a podcast um, but I'm Megan and this is going to be like basically a little Bible study introduction and so right now I have a lot of time on my hands because I'm in a position where my friends are working, getting jobs. It's summertime, so everyone who's in school is now working. And I haven't been able to find a job or work or commit to anything like that. So I'm kind of left in the middle right now. And with this time, I'm trying to learn how to wait. So I have heard a lot of advice, listened to a lot of podcasts, but one verse that I found last night, one Bible verse, was Micah 7, 7 through 8. But as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, O my enemy. Though I fall, I will rise. Though I dwell in darkness, the Lord is a light for me. And last night, I let this verse just hit me so hard and I had highlighted it um, probably a month or so ago and I was like you know this doesn't hit me super hard right now but I like this verse so I highlighted it and I do this thing every night where I read a highlighted verse in my Bible I call it my nighttime Bible I just highlight random verses in it that I like and every night I read one and last night this was the verse that I had to read and the way that it hit me last night was just like so perfect because of just what I've been going through right now with being in a position of waiting and not really sure what to do with it so I just I don't know I really liked this verse so I looked back at the context and with the context Honestly, the way that I saw it last night, I probably took it a little bit out of context. But I did read the context and I still liked the verse, so I was like, whatever. But it's basically, Micah is talking, or I think he's probably praying in a way. But, Micah's a prophet, right? I should have gotten my facts straight. I'm winging this, by the way. Oh, it's raining too. Anyway, um, so he's talking about, like the desperate position that the world is in at this time when he's writing this and how everyone seems to be against him and no one is following God and he's just writing this out of a heart that's like God I I need something and God is just like wait so I feel like that's where a lot of people are in a time like right now with a lot of chaos that's happening in the world and like but like it applies to like political stuff that's happening right now where there's so much division and it's hard to find rest in the middle of it all and just be able to talk to God and just be with him alone so I love how Micah puts this and I've been really trying so God has given me this rest time and I'm trying to use it wisely and in a way that helps myself and others because I, 
forget how the quote goes, but it's something like, God has the ability if we have the availability. And right now, I don't have a lot on my plate. So I am able to like commit to things that just happen on the fly. And if somebody needs my help, I'm here to help. And I have time to do things like this, which I don't even know if anyone will listen to and if anyone can relate. Although I probably think people would relate. But it just, it's a good thing to keep your focus and to just give yourself a little check and be like, okay, this is really hard. <laughs> I am an extrovert. <laughs> I need people and I'm home a lot right now. So it just made me like rethink things and be like, okay, maybe there's something that God is trying to do. And I got to end this soon because it actually is raining. Um, and we all need rest at some point. So use it and don't just be looking for the next chapter and for the next thing. And yeah, that's all for right now. <laughs> I don't know how that went.